Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunere Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunere Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, February the 6th. My friend sitting next to me is Andrew Grabau. I can call him Andy, but only mom is allowed to call you that officially, right? <laughs> That's right. We're Andrew Grabau from Heart of Missouri United Way. It's a pleasure to have you here. Good morning. And um, how, how are things going in 2023? Things are going well. It's hard to believe that one month is already gone. Isn't that something? Yeah. Well, it seems like it was just Christmas, right. and here we are. We're in February <laughs> already. That's exactly right. Yeah. And I'm excited for February because, actually, so I, I wanted to share one quick update. Our Give 5 Retiree Volunteer Program, which is a free program that the Heart of Missouri United Way offers to reintroduce the concept of volunteering to recent retirees, has its next class starting on February 24th, and we still have some uh, spots available. So it's called Give 5? Yes. So just really quickly, Give 5, like I said, is a volunteer um, uh, opportunity where class participants for five consecutive Fridays uh, joins their, their colleagues, and we tour local nonprofits. They learn more about the community. And in return, we ask them to consider volunteering five hours a month to one of those organizations. And they can pick the organization that they wish to volunteer for. Correct. They make a commitment to give five hours a month. If they want to give more, they can give more. certainly do. Yeah, and a quick example of of in the past, we had, uh, for example, a retired accountant who went to one of our local nonprofits that wanted some additional support around uh, QuickBooks, the accounting software. And so this individual is lending uh, their professional experience to providing five hours of service a month to just helping that organization with its QuickBooks. So if you have something to offer, if you feel that you can be of assistance to an organization, you can donate your time and your expertise, you'll be feeling good about it. It feels good to give, feel good about it, and you're helping other people a great deal. And the classes are fun. Participants talk about how they build new friendships. Uh, They really enjoy learning more about the community and ways that they can help. So they can go to our website at uwheartmo.org backslash give five to sign up for the February 24th cohort. Okay. Then the other thing you wanted to touch on had to do with medical? Yes. So Heart of Missouri United Way uh, provides grants in health, financial stability, and education. And those are three-year commitments that we make to the community. For listeners, just to know, we currently have 45 grants in those three areas. And every three years, one of those areas um, goes through a new process of new grants. And so this year, we're reviewing our health impact grants. United Way currently has 24 health impact grants that focus on everything from basic needs to safe health, affordable housing, mental health care, mental and dental care. Well, those grants, those 24 grants, are going to end at the end of this year, 2023. So we have a lot of work in working with our local agency partners around a new a new set of grants. So will you do 23 new health care grants? Well, I appreciate you asking that question because the total amount of those current health impact grants is $1,038,000. It's our largest investment. But Paul, 97% of United Way's revenue comes from community donations, 97%. So we will be able to offer as many grants as the funds will allow. In other words, as the community considers supporting United Way and investing in United Way, United Way can then turn around and make that investment on their behalf. So the number of grants that you give 
depends on the amount of money that you receive. It depends on the amount, but it also the the um, it depends on how many grant applications we receive. It also depends on the target areas that are um, that are you know important for our community to. Really so how address. is this determined? So the target areas um, are determined and set up by a couple of things. One. We uh, look at some larger community data, such as the Boone Indicators Dashboard, which is a a data uh, website that the City of Columbia, Boone County, Heart of Missouri United Way, um, and the Truman School here at the University of Missouri uh, work to provide local community statistics and, and data. We also look at the Boone County Community Health Improvement Plan and the strategies that that process outlies for how do we improve health across the whole county. Um, The United Way Board of Directors then works at coming up with our top targets, and those targets are meant to address the greatest inequities, the greatest challenges that we have, both systemically and individually, around health in our community. You know, as I listen to you speak, I realize that United Way, it's like a big web that is reaching out into every aspect of the community. And its funds are going out while funds are coming in. It's kind of reshuffling the dollars to help people. I think it's really important for listeners, and I know a lot of them understand this, But United Way's investment strategy, and we call it an investment strategy because it's very deliberate, the programs that United Way supports are strategic in addressing the largest disparities. And so you're correct. It is a web. We sometimes like to say, without getting too uh, wordy, that we address the greater social determinants of health which is a way of saying we provide support in all of the areas that are necessary to live a healthy life. Mm-hmm. And, and, I, and I, I honestly believe that. You do a lot of good work. If it were not for uh, United Way, many of the organizations would have a problem continuing to exist. If it were not for the people of our community who so generously give not only to those organizations but to the United Way campaign, many of these organizations wouldn't exist. Uh, we are very fortunate to live in the, in the community that we live in. We've got a lot of good folks here. Yes, we do. Our community is heavily engaged. And, you know, not only through donating, but also by volunteering, because of, I mentioned, like, the Give Five uh, opportunities. But I tell you what, I think what's really interesting is that our community recognizes that we all can um, prosper, we all can live healthy lives when we support everyone and yeah. and that's what we try to do at united way if people want more information or if they want to uh, be a part of it how can they get in touch with you so our website uwheartmo.org okay it's uwheartmo.org andrew thank you so much for coming by always thank a pleasure you. to chat with you appreciate something it. you'd like to hear or see i'd love to hear from you it's pepper p at missouri.edu